animals. They all share the same planet, but they also share the same kingdom. Animal Kingdom, believe me, the most powerful in this world, is about to be discovered. Follow me on this journey, because I will show you 7 main types of animals. There are many different types of animals in the world, but today we are talking about the 7 biggest houses in the space. So let's begin. You, yes you, you are what? Mammal. The official mammal class is Mammalia, and it really is the strong house. Animals that are considered mammals include warm-blooded vertebrates that have hair or fur and whose babies drink milk. Yeah, 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 you remember, because you, me, and any of the animal kingdom in this category. Unlike other types like birds or insects, when our babies, they drink milk that comes from their mother's bodies. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the key ways to know if an animal is a mammal. So have you just had your glass of milk before the bed? Jackbox, reptiles, ancient class of animals, lizards, dinosaurs, crocodiles, turtles and snakes, all belong to this diverse group with more than 10,000 different species and huge representation in the fossil record. And yes, we are going to talk about those ancient creatures on this channel. I am the sucker for dinosaurs, so be prepared. Reptiles still occupy just about every single ecosystem outside of the extreme north and south, and once the dominant land vertebrates on the planet were, you guessed it, reptiles. There is something interesting, mysterious and soul-searching when we think about those creatures that existed millions and millions of years ago, way before your grandfather did. Aquatic vertebrates Oh yes, fishes, they usually have gills, paired fins, a long body covered with scales and tend to be cold-blooded, opposite of us. Fish is a term used to refer to lampreys, sharks, coelacanths and ray-finned fishes. So it has a backbone, it swims, well it's a fish. With more than 10,400 living species, members of the class Aves, we have the rulers of the skies, birds. What distinguishes them from all the other classes of the animals is their feathers. No other animals on earth have them. If you see an animal with feathers, it's undoubtedly a bird. Well, that's an easy one, right? Just like you and me, birds are warm-blooded vertebrates with four chambered hearts. However, they are more closely related to reptiles and are believed to have evolved from... Ah, dinosaurs. It's getting more and more interesting, right? Amphibia, the official class of amphibians. To fit into this classification, an animal must be a vertebrate, require water to survive, be cold-blooded, and spend time both on land and in water. Well, that's strict if you ask me, but hey, other animals only live on land or in water, but amphibians have the unique ability to thrive equally in both. Well, that's an advantage if you ask me. They cover over 6,000 different species across the globe. But check this out. Did you know that about 90% of them are frogs? So next time someone speak about amphibians, you think, froggy frog, and now we are coming to something beyond this world. Animal that does not have a backbone or a vertebral column. Invertebrates. The definition of an invertebrate. No backbone or vertebral column. It is estimated that upwards of 30 million individual species of invertebrates may exist, accounting for between 90 to 95 percent of all organisms on the planet. Wow, that's what I call the domination. But insects are part of taxonomical film Arthropoda, and they are collectively referred to as arthropods. They can literally be found in nearly every environment on the planet, and they currently account for over half of all known living organisms in the world. They have undergone many cycles of evolution, depending on resources available to them. So, love them or hate them, they are the evolution machines, and they've proven their worth, not to us, but to the planet Earth. All those beautiful creatures from all of those seven groups live spread across 
every continent and corner on the earth. And we are finding about new ones, new species every single day. Many have gone extinct, many are endangered. And believe me, we are going to talk about this on this channel and we will learn together. Because after all, I'm just one soul on this planet embedded into this kingdom and this huge animal kingdom that is surrounding us. Join me, because the journey has just begun. Thank <laughs> you.